Alright guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a Super Saiyan script just like this. It's nice and simple, so let's get right into it. Okay, so first of all, you guys are going to want to have like this folder right here. I'm going to link it in the description as a model this time. So that you can just get it from the Roblox website. But what it contains is the highlight, which is this. It contains the aura which is this it's the super saiyan aura and it has the sound which i'm gonna put right here has the sounds too um you're gonna have to make your own animation for going super saiyan this is my one and you know, these are the scripts that we're gonna be working on i'm gonna write these scripts up right now and then after all that is done you're gonna you can take the model but yeah let's begin okay so first what you want to do is you want to um basically drag this event into replicated storage it's like so and then you're going to take this local script um you can name whatever you want and put it in starter character scripts i'm going to name it sj so this is where it begins let's start off with this Alright, so boom, this is what the local script should be looking like. Um, essentially what this does is it picks up the player input for when they press the button that you can use to transform. And for me, it's going to be the G key. And then um, the in form, this is to like store whether the player is in the Super Saiyan form or not. If they are in the Super Saiyan form, uh, it's going to set in form to true. And then it's going to fire the event to the server, which will handle the transformation. So now we're going to make another one. So now what this does is um, essentially there's now a debunk so that you can't just spam the G button and it will glitch the script. You can't do that anymore. So it essentially adds a cooldown to transforming and detransforming which brings me on to my next point that what this essentially does over here is it detects whether it, like you're inside of super saiyan form already and if you are then this will be fired instead of this and what this does it, it will bring you back to your base form essentially okay so um the issue was that i made an error on the script this local character script apparent this is how it should be don't add the character died away well then yeah okay now that we're in the server script let's begin okay so now what this does is this is a test to see if like everything that's happening is replicated correct okay so first what we're gonna do is um we're gonna start moving all of these folders now so first you want to move this into replicated storage um this is the script i'll work on right now you can just put this in service script service it doesn't really matter and then you want to put the animation in replicated storage too just like so and yeah so now let's go right onto the script All right, boom. Now we've done the dirty work. Let's test it. Oh, why am I in R15? Okay, boom. So now let's test it. Let's press G. Okay, so it works, but I don't know where the aura is. So let's check that real quick. Real attachment aura. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. We're gonna have to change the name of the aura particle. 
because the aura and yeah it makes sense okay so let's rename that to aura effect and go to the script aura effect apparent name this aura effect too aura effect and then yeah now it should work let's try it Boom. we have a super scene script and now we just need to sort out I'm um, going back to base form it should be simple let's get right onto that right now okay, so guys I added a nice little touch where it changes the hair color of the character so let's see if it works it, works. it changes all three of the hairs that I'm wearing to gold whilst keeping my accessories the same like texture and also what it does is it keeps the texture id of like the hairs that you're wearing so that when you revert to base form it will just paste it here and then you'll have it just like so if i put this here it will return to its og like its old color so let's just script that right now and then yeah we'll be done Alright, so boom, now that we're done with that, let's see if it works. So then we back to base, and yep, it fully works. Now let's try it again. Super to base again, G, and yeah, the script fully works. Thank you guys for watching, I'm going to link it in the description if you guys want it. And I'm going to put it as a model this time so yeah i'm sorry for the bugs last time but yeah just remember that when you take this model you have to make your own animation because you can't use mine it will, it will come up as sanitized id that's just how roblox works but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys some other time maybe i don't know see ya